Do the numbers add up? What's the concern here of SoftBank? Well, that's the big issue. The numbers don't add up. I mean, it's, people have been struggling for a while to understand how this business could have even been pitched at 65 billion. There's been so much skepticism about this business. It's lost 3 billion over three years. I think for the first half of this year, it lost over 600 million. No one really quite understands the business model. And then when it comes out with its uh, IPO filing uh, a, few, a few weeks ago, and it was this almost this archetypal unicorn about huge issues with corporate governance, uh, but we find out that uh, obviously that the CEO and the founder has been renting back his property to WeWork. I mean, that's kind of like me freelancing on the side to Bloomberg whilst getting paid by Bloomberg. It all seems a bit puzzling. And obviously now when they've finally gone and meet investors and try and get an understanding about the real valuation of this business, it's far from what was promised the, to the founders. But Jazz, have we heard this before with you know other companies that have IPO'd? I mean, there, there were serious concerns about Uber. Or is this different? Because it's just company leasing, actually the business model can be replicated even easier than, than for example, you know, the, the car company. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. With Uber, there's a very good argument that it really was disrupting a business. With WeWork, there's no real great argument that it is truly changing in the real estate business. Um, we wrote a piece on Friday and we highlighted the fact that uh, the SoftBank uh, sort of main investors, the main people in charge of SoftBank were pitched a very similar business to WeWork but a far lower uh, valuation. Uh, and they, they ignored it because they really bought into this idea that WeWork could disrupt it. But investors just don't, don't agree with them at all. When do we find out if they do IPO or whether they shelve it? I think we'll find out something in the next few weeks. Things seem to be happening very quickly. I mean, we started writing about this drop in valuation on, on, on Friday, about worth between 20 and 30 billion. Over the weekend, it's suddenly now worth less than 20 billion. And now suddenly SoftBank are thinking about pulling out. So I suspect we'll see something pretty soon.